Good day everyone! How are you today? By the way, I'm Sir Billy and welcome to my class. For today's lesson, we are going to talk about multiplication of fraction. At the end of the discussion, the student should be able to first multiply fraction and another fraction, second solve the problem involving multiplication of fraction, and third understand some of the concepts associated with multiplying of fraction. But before we proceed, let us recall what is fraction and its part. Hmm. Fraction simply tells us on how many part of a whole we have. And the top number on the fraction is what we call the numerator and the bottom number is what we call the denominator. You probably noticed that we've been talking about fraction lately. Well, now I'm gonna tell you something that fraction is really easy. No, 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 not juggling fraction. Although that is pretty easy for me, I'm talking about something easier than that. I'm talking about multiplication of fraction. Multiplying fraction is super easy. In fact, it is easier than adding fraction. The reason it's easier is because fraction are really just a division problem. Now, since fractions are division, that means if I have a problem 1 fourth multiplied by 2 thirds, it is the same as the problem 1 divided by 4 multiplied by 2 divided by 3. That means I have both multiplication and division in the same problem. And because of that, I can just rearrange our problem to look like this. Now, it looks like two multiplication problems that are being divided and it looks like a fraction. In fact, if we go ahead and do the multiplication, 1 times 2 is 2, and 4 times 3 is 12. Then, we have a fraction, and it's the answer to our problem. So what does it mean? Well, it means that, to multiply a fraction, all you have to do is multiply the numerator, and multiply the denominator, then you have the answer. Then if you can reduce your answer to its lowest term, just think a number that can be divided in both numerator and denominator to simplify your answer. Now let's try this problem. Let us multiply 2 thirds times 4 fifth. So the first step is let us multiply the numerator. So we have 2 times 4, we have 8. And then 3 times 5, we have 15. Now, our answer is 8 over 15. So, the second step is, we are going to simplify our answer. So, can you think a number that can be divided in both numerator and denominator? Okay, na! So, therefore, that is our answer. We have 8 over 15. See how easy that was? Okay, time for another example. Let's try 4, 9 multiplied by 3, 8. So the first step is multiply both numerator. So we have 4 times 3, we have 12. And then 9 times 8, we all know that the product is 72. So we have 12 over 72. Now, can you think a number that can be divided in both numerator and denominator? Twelve, correct. So let us divide twelve divided by twelve. So we have one, and then seventy-two divided by twelve. We have six. So therefore, twelve over seventy-two is equivalent to 1, 6. Alright, 
so let's have one more example. Let's try 1 half multiplied by 4 third multiplied by 3 fifth. Wait a minute. It has 3 fractions multiplied together. And the middle one look like a proper fraction because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Does our steps work for this problem too? Yeah, all you have to do is multiply all the numerator and then multiply all the denominator, then you have the answer. And this will work no matter how many fractions we are going to multiply. So we have to multiply the numerator. So we have 1 times 4 is 4. Then 4 times 3 is 12. And then for the denominator, we have... 2 times 3 is 6. And then 6 times 5 is 30. So our answer is 12 over 30. Then we're going to simplify our answer. So by dividing both numerator and denominator by 6. So 12 divided by 6 is 2. And then 30 divided by 6 we have 5. So our final answer is 2. Now, will you please try this? And if your answer for number 1 is 310, you're correct! For number 2, that is 250. For number 3, that is also Now, let us summarize what we have learned. To multiply a fraction, simply multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. Then, simplify your answer if needed. That's all for today. I hope you have learned from me. See you next time!